Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the hobby of collecting physical media. Because a lot of people forget that this is a hobby. And you see all these comments on the videos saying, how could you spend that amount of money? Like, you could have had a house, you could have done this, you could have done that. How could you spend that much? I wouldn't spend that much. Well, what they don't understand is that to most collectors, this is a hobby. This is what we love. This is our version of putting rims on the car, you know? This is our version of going to a fancy restaurant. This is our version of like whatever. And you might say, but they're different. You're feeding yourself when you go to a restaurant or you're, you know, you need rims on the car because it makes the car go better. It's like, you're telling me that the stock rims don't do the same job. It doesn't move you from point A to point B. You need those fancy spinning rims or whatever. <laughs> like, this is an extension of ourselves. These collections are an extension of ourselves. And it might not be for everyone. And most people don't get it. They say, oh, you could have had all that from the bay. You could have downloaded it all. You could have filled 14 different hard drives. Like, yes, we get it. We know we could have filled hard drives. We know we could have had all this without spending a cent. But this also supports the original creators. So that argument is invalid. I, su I support the original creators when I buy Blu-ray. And it's not for everyone. I get that it's not for everyone but it's a hobby and people don't understand that it's a hobby and people say well that is ridiculous how did you it's lost half its value you you've lost half the value when you've got it yes a car loses half of its value when you drive it off the lot and people might say it's not even a comparison i see the comparison right there a car loses half its value when you drive it off the lot yes blu-rays lose 90 percent of its value as soon as you take it out of the store probably but it's not about that. It's about it fills a purpose. And yes, it's not a purpose that everyone agrees with. And it's not something that, yeah, you can get it on streaming. You can get it through other means. But I like to have the idea that I can actually reach into my collection and not even need an internet connection. I can just come in here, take it off the shelf. And if the Wi-Fi ever goes out, not that I have Wi-Fi. I have, I have personal hotspot. I don't have Wi-Fi at home because Australia's internet is another problem in itself. MBN was nerfed from the get-go and I don't support the MBN. So I, that's why I do sell ya. Anyways, I'll get to that in another video, but something like, I like that I can come in here and be like, oh, I've never seen the Bronx, a Bronx Tale. So it's right there on my shelf. I don't need to go looking for streaming services to try to find it. And the extension of myself, what I mean by that is that, yes, I love movies and I am a product of the video easy days and you could say Blockbuster and uh, Civic Video, and I'm sure people in America would say Hollywood Video and all these other shops. But I'm a product of the Video Easy days, and I would go to places like Video Easy and rent my uh, five weeklies for ten dollars or whatever, or I think it was five for seven. No, it was five weeklies for seven or seven weeklies for ten. And I'll do that, and I'll be like, oh, cool. Or you could get a VHS in there too. You could get when VHS was still around. You could rent a VHS part of that and be like, oh, you can get like. 10 weeklies for like $10 or whatever. And I was like, cool, okay, cool. That's enough for me. And you'd have the whole week to watch them. And that was the part, fun part of it. And as we've lost rental stores, as we've they've disappeared, I miss the sensation of coming in and looking at a cover and browsing for hours. And yes, a lot of collectors have the same thing. We can come in here and spend two, three hours looking at our collection, walk out of here and be annoyed and not watch a movie for the night. That's part of what we can do. It, takes us back to the rental days. And yes, sometimes you could go into a blockbuster or whatever, look at everything and be like, oh, I don't actually want to rent anything today and go out. Like there is nothing wrong with coming in and looking at a collection and not watching anything that night and then getting annoyed at watching YouTube or something. There is nothing wrong with it. But I think that with the collection in particular, I think that it does take me back to an era that's long gone now. It does take me back to the rental era. It does take me back to Video Easy. And yes, I believe that while, look, this is not going to resurrect Video Easy, but it's definitely something that I feel connected to. I've, got, I've showed it off in the past. I don't know where it is right now, but up the top somewhere, I've got a Video Easy box set that I've showed off on my TikTok. And it's like, it's a box set that has 25 movies for each year that Video Easy existed to that point. And I believe it was uh, 83 to 2008. So it was like the 25th anniversary. And it's cool to have that because it's a snapshot in time of what was the biggest movie at the time. It's also a snapshot of a video store um, box set. So it's like, it gives me something 
every time I see that video easy sticker on something, I'm just like, oh my God, this is like a throwback. It's why I went and bought all the vid, uh, all the video copies from video stores. Like, yes, um, from for wrestling I'm talking about. So yes, I could have bought pristine store board and all this other stuff. There's a reason why I went for the big box rental copies because those are the versions I grew up on. And yes, they're not the exact versions, but you know, I've bought most of them on eBay and I'm like, cool, this one came from uh, Video Easy Katoomba or this one came from Blockbuster Melbourne or whatever. Like, I can go through them and be like, cool, this is like, I have a video copy that was from a rental store and it almost takes you back to that era and be like, cool, I can grab something that was one, at one time in a video store and it's in my collection now and I can actually pretend that the video store still exists. Like I've just went to Video Easy and rented it. Like that's very precious to me and I love that I can do that. And it's not for everyone. I get that. But we're saying this about like, I consider myself a preservationist too. That's another reason why I collect this. I try to preserve it as it was originally intended. But it's a hobby and we need to call it a hobby. And people try to say, oh, but you know, you're spending X amount of dollars on this and you spent a ridiculous amount. If you watch my spend video, which I'll put in the description, if you watch the spending video that I've said how much my collection cost, or costed, that video, I talk about it costed X amount of dollars. And I think I said like for the Blu-ray collection alone, I think I said 55 or something, 55,000. And people were like, how could you spend that amount of money? Oh my God. Well, how much did the cars cost you? How much, when you go in and buy a car, you might say, oh, well, my car cost 20 grand. And I'm like, I look at that and I'm like, you paid 20 grand for a car? Like you could have got it secondhand. You could have got it that way. Why didn't you buy it? Why didn't you buy it off someone on Marketplace or whatever? And like, oh, but you know, that's not what it's about. I want the best. I want this and this and this and blah, 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 blah. It's like the same arguments you make to me about why you buy brand new cars is the same reason I'll give back to you of why I collect physical media. Like that is your preferred spend, how you spend your money. How I spend my money is none of your business because I put it into this and yes, I've slowed down this year because I feel like I have enough. I feel like I've got more than enough to watch. There are still releases in my um, in my calendar that I want to pick up, but it's not like I haven't been into JB Hi-Fi in a long time to buy Blu-rays because there's nothing there I want. I've got everything I need and there still are releases coming out, but I don't feel the need to run out and buy them because they are not needed for me. But anyways, guys, what do you think? Like, I, obviously my following is a big collector base. Do you feel like you get told constantly, like, you're spending too much money on this and, you know, you could have had this for a housing deposit or you could have put it into this or you, you, could, you could have invested it all in a 401 or whatever and this and that. And it's like... I don't know what a 401 is. I don't live in America. I'm guessing it's like super, what we call superannuation in Australia. But like, and we'll get to finance YouTubers in a, we'll get it. To, I'm going to come after finance YouTubers as well in in this video soon because I see all these finance videos all over my feed and it's just like half of them give you the wrong information. You're going to go bankrupt if you do half of the stuff they do. But this is, this is what I'm talking about. It's not for everyone, but it's for me. And honestly, my collection is a reflection of myself. And the only one really watching my collection is me. So I'm, I will spend money on a hobby that I take pride in and a hobby that I love having. And it doesn't have to be for everyone, but hey, it is what it is and you don't have to agree, but that's where we are with it. And anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're a collector, what's some of the stuff that you get told constantly? Because I feel like people feel the need to constantly tell us negative stuff like we're doing the wrong thing and we're doing this and you know, shouldn't be spending your own money on bl collecting Blu-ray. You could have 14 different streamers for that price. Tell me some of the stuff that you've heard when you've been collecting and I want to hear it. So jump down in my comments and I'll try to get back to you when I can. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching me guys. And I will try to catch you in the next one. Peace.